could you give advice to young people in general, uh, folks in high school, folks in college, how to take on some of the big questions you've taken on? Now you've done that in the space of biology and expanded out. How can they have a career they can be proud of or have a life they can be proud of? Gosh, that's a big question. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm sure you've gathered some wisdom that you can um, um, impart yeah. to the so, young populace. So the only advice that I actually ever give to my students um, is follow what you're interested in. Because they, they're often worried that if they make this decision now and, and, and do this course instead of that course, then they're going to restrict their career opportunities. And um, there isn't a career path in science. It's, it's not, I mean, that there is, but there isn't. Um, yeah. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of death, symbolically. Um, so who survives? The people who survive are the people who care enough to still do it. And they're very often the people who um, don't worry too much about the future and are able to live in the present. Because if you you know you do a PhD, you, you've competed hard to get onto the PhD, then you have to compete hard to get a postdoc job, and uh, you have you know the next bomb maybe on another continent, and it's only two years anyway, and and so and, and there's no there's no uh, guarantee you're going to get a, a faculty position at the end of it. So. And there's always the next step to compete. If you get a faculty yeah. position, you get a tenure, and with tenure, you go full professor and full professor, then you go to some kind of whatever the discipline is, there's an award. If you're in physics, you're always competing for the Nobel Prize, there's different yeah, awards. Yeah, yeah. And then eventually you're all competing to, I mean, there's always a competition. So there is no happiness. Happiness does not lie. If you're there. looking into the future, yes. And if what you're caring about is a career, then then it's probably not the one for you. If though you can put that aside, and you know, I've also worked in industry for a brief period, and uh, and I was made redundant twice, so I, I know that uh, <laughs> that, that, that uh, it, you know, there's no guarantee evolution. that you've got a career that way either. Yes. Uh, so so live in the moment and try and enjoy what you're doing, and that means really f go to the go to the themes that you're most interested in and try and follow them as well as you can. And and that tends to pay back in surprising ways. I don't know if you've found this as well, but I, I found that um, people will help you often. If they see some light shining in the eye and you're excited about their subject um, and, and and you know just want to talk about it, and they know that their friend in... California's got a job coming up. They'll say, "Go for this. This guy's all right." You know, and they'll 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 use the network to help you out if you really care. And uh, you're not going to have a job two years down the line. But if you if what you really care about is what you're doing now, then it doesn't matter if you have a job in two years' time or not. It'll work itself out if you've got the light in your eye. Um, and so that's the only advice I can give. And most people probably drop out through that system because the fight is just not worth it for them. Yeah, when you have the light in your eye, when you have the excitement for the thing, what happens is you start to surround yourself with others that are interested in that same thing that also have the light. If you really are rigorous about this, because I think it does take, it's it doesn't, it takes effort to make- Oh, you've got to be obsessive. But But if you're doing what you really love doing, then it's not work anymore, it's what you do. Yeah, but I also mean the surrounding yourself with other people that are obsessed about the same thing, because depending oh, that on- that takes some work as well, yes. You know, and luck. Finding the right, yeah, finding the right mentors, the collaborators, because I think one of the problem with the PhD process is people are not careful enough in picking their mentors. Those are people, uh, mentors and colleagues and so on, those are people who are gonna define the, the direction of your life, the yeah. how much you love a thing, how much, I mean, the, the power of just like the few little conversations you have uh, in the hallway, it's, it's, it's incredible. So you have to be a little bit careful in that. Sometimes we just get randomly almost assigned, um, really pursue, I suppose, the subject 
as much as you pursue the people that do that subject. So like the, both, the whole dance of it. They kind of go together really. Yeah, they do, they, they really do. But to, to take that 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 part seriously, and, and probably in the way you're describing it, careful how you define success. Because- uh, You'll never find happiness in success, I don't think. There's a lovely quote uh, from Robert Louis Stevenson, I think, who said, nothing in life is so disenchanting as attainment. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, in in some sense, the 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 true definition of success is getting to do today what you really enjoy doing, just uh, what fills you with joy, and that's ultimately success. So success isn't the thing beyond the horizon, the big stat, uh, the, the 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 big trophy, the the financial. I think it's as, it's as close as we can get to happiness. That's not to say you're full of joy all the time, but it's it's as close as we can get to a sustained human happiness is by getting some fulfillment from what you're doing on a daily basis. And if what you're looking for is the the the, the world giving you the stamp of approval with a Nobel Prize or a fellowship or whatever it is, then you know I, I've known people like this who they they're eaten away by the by the anger, the kind of caustic. The, resentment that they've not been awarded this prize that they deserve. And the other way, if you put too much value into those kinds of prizes and you win them, I've gotten a chance to see that it also, the more quote unquote successful you are in that sense, the more you run the danger of um, growing an ego so big that you don't get to actually enjoy the beauty of this life. You start to believe that you figured it all out as opposed to, I think what the ultimately the most fun thing is, is being curious about everything around you, being constantly surprised and uh, these little moments of discovery of enjoying, enjoying beauty in small and big yes. ways all around you. And I think the bigger your ego grows, the more you start to take yourself seriously, the less you're able to enjoy that. Oh man, to that, I couldn't agree more. <laughs>